Sifo is the third son in a family of four. He has two other brothers um, and a younger sister. And uh, his siblings, they all live abroad. And Usifo grew up as a child who was raised by very good parents in a Christianly manner. And he's a guy who's always had business in his DNA. He's always liked to do business. But what I'll tell you about Sifo is that Sifo is very respectable. Usifo will never hurt a fly. Usifo loves people. Usifo goes beyond the immediate family to know his cousins, to know his uncles. I've had the very regrettable privilege of seeing that dead body five times. My cousin's hands were tied so badly that the rope entered his skin. The rope is right there as an exhibit with the police. That binding could not have been done by that lady alone. Not possible. Even if he was drugged, it is not possible because I saw the lady and I, was, I saw my cousin. I said, this is not possible. Apart from the fact that he was tied, there were multiple stabs on his body. That is correct. Multiple. So that story of two stabs and neck is not true. He was stabbed in other places. His leg. In fact, in Yaba mortuary, the attendants were so dramatic that they told us clearly, the stabbing here was so bad that it's a hole. The guy stuck his two fingers into my cousin's body in my presence. I am serious. The Doppler vein, he was stabbed here deliberately. So whether he was just stabbed on the neck, no, he was stabbed on the Doppler vein twice. He was stabbed on his body multiply.